What's up everybody, it's your boy Nick with Keep Believe in Fitness, KBF, coming at you with another video today. Um, we're going to talk about an interesting topic which I think is going to help a lot of people because there's a lot of common misconceptions about this topic and that is that I get this question all the time where can I spot reduce uh, where my body fat is? And the answer to that quickly is no you cannot. A lot of people think, you know, let me just, my abs, they got a lot of fat in my ab area um, which is where a lot of men typically store their fat, right? So they want to try and get that down and they think they can spot reduce it by just doing a million crunches or other certain ab exercises and that immediately is going to decrease their fat source. However, that is false. Um, I don't know where we've gotten this idea that we can either easily spot reduce um, certain fat. Even, you know, a lot of women, they, um, they store fat in their tricep area and they may think, oh, let me just do some triceps and the fat's going to go down. Again, false. You cannot spot reduce uh, your fat loss. The only way to do that, the simple answer, is to do uh, cardio aerobic exercise. You know, you want to obviously do cardio and strength training together because if you use that, the evidence is there that you're going to lose more body weight than just dieting or just exercising alone. Combining those two factors, you're going to have a better decrease in your body fat percentage, okay? So if you want to decrease your fat in a specific area, like your abs, okay, do ab training however if you have the fat still there and you're just training your abs and the fat still there yes you may have muscular abs underneath that okay but you're not going to know that because the fat's going to be in the way so train abs do strength training for your abs however also start incorporating cardio so that the fat can shed overall throughout your entire body if you haven't done cardio before if you want to start a cardio program i suggest you start out slow maybe do 10 minutes of light moderate intensity cardio two to three times a week okay I'd say probably stay to the two two days a week range and then as you do that for a couple weeks then up it to three to four days and also increase the intensity okay it's all a step-by-step -step program you don't want to go into it right away and do super high intensity interval training because it's not going to work for you your body's not adapted to that type of training so you're not going to have the ultimate results that you want to see you want to start out slow and progress. That's with everything that we do, whether that be cardio training, weight training, um, anything like that. You want to start out slow and progressively get better as you go. You don't want to take somebody that's never worked out before, never done cardio, and slap them on a routine where they're doing cardio five days a week because A, it's not going to be beneficial. B, they're not going to want to do it. And that, in turn, C, results in them not wanting to come back to your workout program because it's not optimally geared to what they're trying to do. If, they, if you throw too much at them too quick, it's just going to be, you know, this sucks. I don't want to be in this environment. I don't want to do his program because it's too much for me at one time. The more and more you slowly add on to the program and make it challenging and, uh, you know, different, entertaining, the better off you're going to have for people coming back. So I'm getting off at a tangent. This is completely off topic. Um, but to get back on topic, like I said, you cannot spot reduce. So, yes, train, train, train to get the best results you want to get muscular-wise. However, start incorporating cardio so that you can shed that body weight, shed those fat pounds, and you'll see the results further from the strength training that you've gotten by doing cardio, okay? So to shed that myth, you cannot spot reduce as much as you may think you can and as much as you may want to believe that you can Sorry to tell you people out there, you can't do it. You need to do cardio. As much as we all hate doing cardio sometimes, that's the only way to achieve those kind of results. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Never give up because nothing can stop you from succeeding if you just keep believing.